2019 and I have Roger Crone, the Chairman and CEO of Lidos, and Christine Zietz, the CEO of Lidos Australia. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, great. No, it's great to be here. And how's the show been for you so far? The, show, the show's been really great. You know, this is really the premier maritime show in the Pacific region and uh, we have a growing presence here and it's great. We're seeing all the multinational companies and what's really important is the level of customers that we're able to see. It's been it's been terrific. We saw Secretary of Defense, the ministers, it's really a great place to be. Yeah. And obviously it's a big year for Lightus. It's the 50th anniversary of the company and it's just over three years since your merger in Australia. Um, can you talk a bit of an update on the business for us? Yeah, it's, it's really fantastic. It's uh, We merged uh, the ISNGS business from Lockheed in August of 2016. So it's you know, just a little bit over three years and uh, the merger has gone uh, much, much uh, smoother and faster than we ever thought. Uh, we're the perfect organization structure uh, for the uh, the business that they came across, and uh, we've been able to uh, merge the team and establish ourselves, and uh, uh, actually have started our growth path. And uh, the people, I think, uh, it's, it's really been terrific. And Christine, how has things been for you since the merger? Well, it's been great. Since August 16, that we merged. Now, in Australia, we were 97, 98% Lockheed Martin. Right. So it wasn't a 50 50 in Australia. In the US, it was 50 50 Lockheed, 50 Lidos. So it was a different merger here. So we had to transform all of our business systems, translate mostly Lockheed people to Lidos. Mm. And whilst we were winning a lot of programs and we mobilised uh, four main programs last year, so we've grown, we've, we've pretty much doubled in size uh, since before the merger. So it's been a very chaotic, but challenging, but exciting time. And how are the uh, US and the Australian teams working together? Oh, really, really good. Uh, is uh, our, our business model is really global, where we move people around the world and uh, we have a terrific team here. We've supplemented that with people from the States, but people from uh, UK, uh, Egypt and training from the Mid East, and so we use that to transfer the technologies around and actually bring the best of Lidos to all of our businesses. And I guess Christine, that helps with the development of people as well. It does. Yeah. And look, I think we've just got it absolutely right. We've got a fabulous Australian team who understand our Australian customer. We understand the Australian mission and the way in which our customer likes to buy capability. And I think we're very good at delivering it in that way. But then we reach back to global technologies, what global world-class people that have that, that edge that we need to provide the Australian uh, customers with global capability. So it's working really well. Mm. And Roger uh, allows us as an Australian business to, to take the calls, to decide the strategy and to understand what capability we need and where we need to go, mm. which is why I think we've grown that large amount and we're delivering because that is the right business model uh, of decision making for the Australian business. And Andrew, I think it's really important to emphasise that maybe un unlike um, some of the other U.S. multinationals, we really want to be local. Mm. So we hire local, we hire from uh, colleges and universities, we hire mid-career people, we do our development work local. So we do a lot of software, C4ISR, electronic warfare work, huge amount of autonomy, and we create that capability where, where the customer is. And so from an economic development standpoint, we really partner with Australia in ways many other multinational companies don't. Right. And Christine, this is Lightus Australia's first time at Pacific, so why now? Well, it just shows how we're growing. You know, three years ago, we had uh, some IT programs. We had, we just nearly signed our, uh, our Navy program. And so really 2017 would have been the first Pacific and we weren't quite ready for it. So now we have, uh, we have something to bring on our stand is C1770, the Rapid Environmental right. Program. And we have a very, very strong capability in maritime autonomy, of which we're starting to talk to the Navy and DSTG about. So we've actually got something to say. Mm, absolutely. And so thinking longer term, what, what's the future for Lidos in Australia? Oh, it, it, it is all about opportunity here. And um, our C1770 program really relevant to the show that we have here today, but we're bidding on JP2060 phase four, which is a healthcare program. Uh, Lightos really operates in four areas, defense, intel, health, and civil infrastructure. And we have some of those programs uh, in each business unit here in Australia, and that gives us a great uh, platform 
to grow and to win new programs and to add people uh, and just grow both our top line and our bottom line. So the future is very, very bright here for us in Australia. Well, Roger and Christine, I really wish you a successful week and thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to talk to AWR TV. Great, Andrew. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for having Andrew. us. Thanks.